Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's Two Minute Tech. Today we're going to take a look at mobile device management in Sophos Cloud. This is Pete Greco with Productive Corporation. Thank you for taking a look at our Two Minute Tech video featuring Sophos Cloud. Today we're going to be talking about mobile device management. To get started, I need to create a policy. So we'll go to Users and Devices. We'll go down to Policies. You can see I've already created several policies, including one called MDM Policy Test. So I can create another policy by clicking on Add. I can clone any of these policies and start modifying that. But today, I'm going to edit this policy. So I'll highlight that. Click the Edit button. Now I can change the name of this if I want to. So if I'm going to go live with this now, I'll change it to active. I have some other options that I can enable. So I can assess a policy that's both for endpoints and mobile device management in one group. We're going to keep it separate, though. So I'll just check on control policy for mobile devices. We'll click next. You can see I've got some users in here. And we're going to add a few more. And again, we'll click next. Now I can create some additional options to be able to control access and utilization of the device. So if the company owns the devices, I might want to check on Disable Hide Feature Access. This is going to give me the capability to block the App Store, the camera, and other key items that will keep that phone in business only mode. Now in our environment, our employees own their own devices. So that wouldn't be something that I would check on. But I do want to enforce a password. I want to push out our Exchange email settings. I want to push out the Wi-Fi. And I've got some basic compliance rules that I want to take advantage of. Now, we like to keep it easy for everybody. So we'll set ours to pin mode and four digit as the minimum. Now, I can also do some things like lock down after a maximum number of password attempts. If exceeded, the device will wipe itself. So we want to be careful about what we're doing there. So we might even crank that up to 10. Maximum password age, so we'll change that so that it changes every 30 days. You can have it set to none if you don't want to control it. And then when will the device auto lock? We have it set to after three minutes. So I scroll down here. You can see I've already enabled my email server settings. If I need to make a modification here, I can open this up, and I can change anything that I need to change. I've got my Wi-Fi settings down here. And what I really like about being able to control these from here is if I make a modification or a change to my Wi-Fi password, I can update it here and push it out to all the users. I don't need to send out this Wi-Fi password to everybody so that they have it in clear text and can maybe share it with folks outside of the company, contractors, for visitors, uh, and we can keep that secure. We want anybody not associated with the organization to use the guest Wi-Fi. We want to keep our internal Wi-Fi available for uh, corporate users. As we get into the compliance rules now, I have some basic settings that I can take advantage of to make sure that I don't have weak or penetrable devices on the network. So if the device is jailbroken or rooted, we can instantly remove it from the network. If the device hasn't checked in in a while, i.e. it could be lost, we can wipe the settings. I can control OS versions so that uh, I'm not allowing uh, devices with older, unpatched OSs on. Um, right? So lots of good stuff that I can do here. And I can set time limits on the policy. So if this is a temporary policy, I can have it expire at a certain time. This will be a regular policy for us, so we're going to keep it enabled. We'll click Save. Once I've created my policy, the users that I've added will receive an email that will include a QR code so that they can simply snap that from their device and have the mobile device management uh, application and the policies automatically set on their phone and tied back to our network. This process probably takes about three minutes. It's very quick. It's very easy for the layman end user to do on their own. So IT can get a little additional time back into their day by not having to custom configure every phone or tablet that comes onto their environment. Thanks a lot for taking a look at mobile device management. 
This is Pete Greco with Productive Corporation. Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's Two Minute Tech. If you need additional product information, configuration, or implementation services, please contact us at help at productivecorp.com, 800-726-4099. We are here to help.